information this morning concerning the shooting death of a San Francisco woman at Pier 14. It's already fueling a fresh round of fierce debate over U.S. immigration policies. Now a new detail in the investigation adds another dimension to the discussion. The gun used in the killing of Kate Steinel belonged to a federal Welcome agent. Back everybody at 742. Topping your extra report this morning, a representative for Sean Diddy Combs says he was defending himself during an incident at the University of California the that led to women's arrest. soccer team is taking the field tonight as they fight for a spot in the Women's World Cup semifinals. And you can watch it all happen Failure here to remain at a crash involving injuries. And as you mentioned, she also faces charges for petit theft out of Lee County, where she was already... This is our one crash that's going to probably take a little while for them to clear up. It's I-75 southbound at mile marker 100, which is right between Collier Boulevard and the toll booth before you get on Alligator Alley. There are some slowdowns being caused because yeah, of Amy, crash. Yeah, folks out here on Epson Drive here in North Fort Myers still trying to figure out what happened. A man was shot right in this shared sort of drive driveway in this trailer community. Now, County see. Sheriff Mike Scott publicly addressing the mysterious murder of a Southwest Florida doctor for the first time more than a week Seven, after a month death. after canceling her wedding, Bristol Palin, the daughter of former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin, is pregnant. One man she is. waking up behind bars after a suspicious vehicle with a bomb inside is found near the nation's capital. A U.S. Capitol Police spokeswoman says a pressure waiting to learn the identity and what charges will be filed against a man who pulled a gun out during a confrontation near a school in Fort Myers. Fort Myers Police saying it happened area this time of morning, but it's not causing any problems and there is no official roadblock there. Naples, you too are seeing a crash. It's a hit and run crash on I-75 northbound right at Collier we'll Boulevard. In Albany will leave you feeling full for less. Restaurant Week kicked off today with 14 participating restaurants offering three course meals. New information for just on how NBC anchor Brian Williams reacted after getting confronted about making up a story that he was in a chopper that came under fire in Iraq. Now, back here live on Epson Drive in North Fort Myers, I did speak exclusively to the brother of the victim. He sort of approached us this morning as we were on the scene, and he did tell me that his brother is going to be okay. He got out of surgery this morning, and he is in well, stable condition. The bad news is, mosquito season has started early this year. But the good news is Lee County Mosquito Control is on the case. We've been very Imagine busy. building an entire playground for kids in just one day. Hundreds of volunteers in Albany not only imagined it, they did it. Here they are. Early Same thing today. for you. Just a little bit of sewer work, but it's in a residential area, so it's not going to affect your main veins as you guys head south to work. There's just a section of Edgewater Drive that's closed right at Lakeview Happening Boulevard. Today, the Lee County School Board is expected to discuss their dress code policy. This after a North Fort Myers High School honor student about was swimming stripped. pool water has some people saying, yuck. Okay, you know the red and burning eyes people sometimes get after a day at the pool? Well, it turns out these symptoms don't come from chlorine, Who as many does believe. that? Two guys. Guys, break into this concession stand here in Gloversville. Kick down the door, I'm talking about, just to get inside and steal loose change. Less than five bucks worth of change, most likely. The damage done to the door, more than their haul, but they underestimated. Now, what's next for all this food, you may ask? Well, the food will be donated to Sikkim, which is the Schenectady Inner City Mission. A lot of families out there with pets falling on hard times this time of year, so that'll definitely help out. The toiletries, the paper towels, the detergent that you saw earlier, Earlier. That's going to be donated to the APF. So Stay away from wet areas, especially after it rains. Mosquitoes, they hide during the rain, but then after that rain is done, they come out because they do love that moisture. And above and beyond everything else, get yourself a good bug spray. That's and Lee, right. and she's going to give the brow. This, the, she, this yeah. woman here, <laughs> Michelle. What did I do? I Forgot mean. your name. She, Michelle's going to give Don't the brow. Don't call your mother that. Did you that from your yes, dad? I have. She said. She said no. She's your mom. She is your mother. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Michelle is going to give the brow to those questionable stories. But of course, we're going to start with the bump, as we always do, and it goes to a ten-year-old Arizona boy. That guy there, who is designing clothes. For the homeless. homeless. Did I just get upstaged by an eagle? Did yeah. they just say, you will wait, traffic, because Ozzy is about to take off? Did, I, did that happen to me 15 years into my career? I have arrived. It's me. Everyone. Hi. I made it into work today. I know my boss is happy to hear that right now. Note to self, if you leave your interior lights on, your battery will run out. Okay? How about that? Anyway, nothing going on out there on the roadway there. Well, 7 oh, it caught me grooming myself. <laughs> 737 now. Girls are the focus of Heart Lake City. It's the latest expansion of Legoland here. I majored in niceness. I know. Well, <laughs> did you? I can't tell. I failed. No, just kidding. <laughs> That's cool.
cool, though, because the world is run by C students. I know, right. and didn't your parents always tell you, get those good grades? Get those good grades. And see, count. Mom, I was right for getting C's. Yes, yeah, she was going to diagnose, like, diagnose him with herpes or something? Yes, diagnose, yes, hemorrhoids. with hemorrhoids. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was herpes because well, there was a, a growth on him. <laughs> well, there is that. She did say, um, did she referred up? to him as probably having tuberculosis. <laughs> oh, tuberculosis, <laughs> herpes. herpes. I apologize. <laughs>